Hi there, White House Films here, and this is a little video where I show you guys how to assemble these little station lamps, or yard lamps, whatever they, they can be for your layout. And so, this is, uh, I'm recording this now a bit ahead of time, where I've just finished building this model, so we're going to go a bit back in time, and to where I'm going to show you how to make these little lamps. Okay, enjoy. Hello folks, White House Films back with a new video, and... This is the next part of the construction of the station platform. So, what we've got left to do now is we've done the construction of the main platform itself. We put on the fencing, we painted it up, put on the little gardens. What next to do is to add some station accessories. Now, one of these accessories that I'm going to talk through now at the minute is uh, making up the station lamps. Now, the lamps on the original layout were recycled ones from the Northwestern Railway layout. These ones were uh, positioned on the Nutford Station junction, Nutford Station area of the layout. So these were then reused for the Farquhar Station platform and also for the Mark II station. So to try and sort out what make these these lamps were was actually kind of difficult. So I tried finding some online, but. Uh, not really much success, though there was one brand, it was like a German brand, but their ones, it doesn't, they didn't really suit um, the ones I was looking for. They were close, they were sort of a close resemblance, but they're not necessarily the ones I was looking for. So the best option was to try and make them up myself, which <laughs> didn't turn out pretty well. So uh, I asked a friend to see if I can get some made for me which he made for me on um, using like a 3D printing software or for 3D printing and this is what they came like in the sprue so this is for uh, the actual post itself these ones are for putting onto the actual station building themselves more on that later on and these are the ones that go on top of the actual post So, once uh, I cut them out of the sprue, that's what they look like. It's only two parts really. And then what you need to get, do is to get some some wire. Now, the friend here commission said that um, the best for this is to use uh, 0.45 wire, which I have a whole bundle of, which is <laughs> quite fortunate. So, twisting the wire into a sort of what looks like a science diagram, like a science electrical diagram for maybe a light bulb or I don't know. But it looks it looks kind of kind of resembles that that kind of design. So, now when we were discussing about how the construction of these were going to be made, I was told that there was actually drill little holes. You won't see you won't see this in the camera because they've been covered up by. Um, by dust and the, the powder that they used to make the stuff with. So I have to pre I have to re-drill them again. So get my drill bit. My drill with a little bit in it. All right. So I just drilled uh, some wee small guide holes just to allow this uh, the wire to thread through. Now I have to cut a wee bit of the wire now because uh, just to make sure it starts out okay. So, let's do a test for it to make sure it's all nice and correct. Okay, so, next thing to do now is to have a bit of super glue. Just little drops, that's all you need. There. And 
just for extra just for extra safety like just get some Yoohoo glue or contact adhesive just go over the top just make sure you have a good seal sometimes super glue might not stick at all stick down all that well so just to ensure a good bit of good support okay and then we just leave that to dry for a while and we'll stick on this bit okay now with the glue now dried we can now start putting on the actual lampshade now when we were, when uh, my friend was designing these he very he put this little lip at the top of the, the lamp just so it makes it a bit easier for you to push the wire in so just press it on top there just press it on top like that there and then with some super glue Just hold that wire in place. <laughs> Try again. It's a bit fiddly, but uh, it'll soon work out okay. Yeah. Just hold it in like that until the glue sets. Right, while we're waiting for the glue to dry, we're going to see about making up this little hand, like a little bar. This is one of the finished ones I have. You can see here there's a little bar that goes across out here. So that's just basically a bit of wire which I just cut. So I'll just cut off a few snips. It's a wee bit longer than, than what it's meant to be, but that's okay because then you'll be able to adjust the the length afterwards. Now on this side, you might not see that well, but there's a little hole right there. So what you do is you get your wire and you just thread it through the hole like that. And then just secure it in place with a job super glue. Like that. And then just leave it aside to dry. Now whilst we're waiting for that to dry, we can see by painting up the lamps. Now uh, I've given these a uh, rub down of uh, sandpaper just to smooth out the uh, the model and so now we can make a start on painting these up. So I'll, I'll just go and get the paint and get this painted up. Right so the paints I'm using are water based so I'm using a green and silver. So these lamp posts are as I said a green shade and of course the silver is just for the little bulb. Good shake, mix it up. I'll screw the cap. And because it's water based, it'll be easy to wash your brushes in, in warm water. So you get your brush, get a good wee dab of paint, and then just brush it on.
Don't forget to do the frames as well. I'm going to be painting two thirds of the post because I requested that these would be made so that they could be of any length you want. You can use them for yard lamps or station lamps. Because I'm using them for station lamps, they're going to be at a different height on the platform. So, what I'm going to do when, there's, when these are dry, I'm going to drill a hole in the platform and then just insert these through. And then that'll sort them out for their height wise. Also, to speed up the process, if you want, of the painting stages, you could always give this, uh, give this a spray of green, green spray paint. Uh, paints I'm using here are Humble and Games Workshop. I uh, find their paints quite quite handy for these sort of projects. Plus, they also come in the right sh in the, the right shades as you want. Side. Then we can go and paint the bulb. Okay, there we go. Then we just we'll give that a blast of uh, matte varnish, and then we can install onto the layout. Okay, guys, thanks very much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial, and hope that it was of good use to help you make up these little lamps. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Okay, guys, share and subscribe onto the channel if you want to see some more content, and. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.